I'm just thinking out loud. Um, it's April 2nd, 2022. Um, there's this thing I don't think of often, but it's called endowment. I've heard this perverse, um, meaning per, P-E-R, and then a verse for una verse, being of one verse, um, called well endowed. Um, in the west to east relations of squarely lined up, like the way a builder would line something up, an architectural like drafting storyboard and well-placed precision guidelines with actual masonry of like brick by brick laid correctly with absolute precision of the ancients of like Giza level precision. America doesn't look like that. North America, not since I've arrived. Being well endowed and all. I arrived west east to LL, being Linda and Lou. Lou being of W in man terms. They, repl they refer to it as woman because there's the two V's that descend of west, of east to west and cross over and of ovum being the O and of my heraldy being of man which is usually the isle of man and the gods of man sons of man know what man looks like um in Bashark. And then there's the, which is runic, which is really old, ancient, of, I don't have any way of communicating with them. They're not so understanding and forgiving, I don't think, but, or at least, whatever. But they also get their parts right. So, um, so, West, East, in lettering, in placement, and then double hockey stick for me is Linda Lou, um, which are the parental units, my G under being of cat, a root, a root um, in this hum human whatever. Um, I know, just, the only thing is, uh, like, I got on a plane, I booked a plane, or an aeroplane flight, maybe it was an Airbus, who, I, again, I'm not FAA, so I don't know what I boarded, I got, went to the airport, I got on, I went down that little thing that attaches to the airplane, I got on it, I sat in a seat. It's, I take it said I was going to Toronto, but so um that happened. While I was there, I met with this wonderful um gentleman and amazing speaker, um Steve Morris. Um, we did not meet. I don't believe we met in an introduction. He wasn't introduced to the rest of us. But he did, he made a grand entrance and then a, uh, he spoke. There was a, um, another speaker there. Her name was Angela Tucker. Um, she did a personality profile. We actually took a test there. Um, this is a franchise. Um, and so we took a a test there for personality purposes and then we broke for, I think for lunch and we went back and we were given a signed like it was a stadium seating type but in a smaller lecture so it was we moved to where um 
I was in the category of I, being the letter I, um, but I had a secondary letter of D. Um, I know that was important. The person, the person that was, that arrived with me, um, and that I was, and he was shorter than six foot, um, he was just an I. There was no D whatsoever. Just so we're clear. There was an entire room full of C's and I think A's. It was C A. I don't know. It was D I. And there were two other sections. And again, it eludes me at the moment, but whatever they know who they were or where they were placed. Um, for more of an analytical and more intrapersonal type of a thing while we spend time there. Um, and then I boarded, uh, and then I wound up back in New York, however that happened. Um, so again, I know for personality profile that that is a really, um, important piece and that piece I can still remember. Um, while this is going on here at the moment, um, today is April 2nd, 2022. I'm still in New York. Um, it's Bayside Station. Um, this is Channel 2. Uh, they have this version. And then today there was a variant version between BA1 and B. BA.1, BA.2. Um, so the only time... Um, oh, so I took a, a personality profile in front of other persons, uh, whomever was in that room, I don't know. Um, again, there's this thing, like if you get abducted by aliens... Who am I to say if they were little green men? They looked awfully human. Alien, I've heard referred to as foreigners. Again, I wound up in Canada where I was. So I thought, I mean, tickets said I bought one ticket to Canada, an international, so I technically am an alien as well to a Canadian. But again, it's all OCD, like Orient Center and... So, um, so did I get abducted by aliens? Maybe. I mean, I didn't look at it as an abduction. I looked at it as an invite and a attendance. And then whatever, going back to New York and trying to make the real estate profession work in whatever way New York was working it, but it didn't work out, did not. I'm, in fact, it actually went, I lost everything, um, and now I'm in a worse place because the industry doesn't offer salary of any kind or any kind of money mechanics, any safety, any retirement, nothing. Um... I still have no contacts here, unless they present themselves to me. Don't know who to seek out, what hand to hold, what hand to follow. The I I arrived in Canada with is useless. Everybody knew that before, and knew it after. So why does it still exist in my every day? Why is there no help when all I do is adhere? and try to do whatever it is that's expected of me in grand concourse, but with very little to zero instruction. 
some idiom coming from being I-D-I-O with a capital M. And perhaps this is an even capital M. Maybe it's a lowercase m. I have no way of knowing. I'm just the idiot savant in receivership at the moment, trying to figure it out. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kateruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken.